Hey, it's John of John's PC Hut. What you see on the screen in front of you is the Facebook business page of an organization known as Craft. Now, Craft is short for the Center for Recreation and Family Training. Craft is a non for profit that operates out of the Pembroke slash Hopkins Park area of Illinois. That's approximately 75 miles south of Chicago. Now, as I mentioned, Craft is a non for profit and it provides mentoring for grade school and high school students as well as literacy assistance and student adoption for college students. I would encourage you to visit Craft at its website www.craftinc.org to learn more about them. But in any case, what we're going to do today is we're going to be converting their current Facebook business page over to the new Facebook timeline format. Now, if you are not familiar with the new Facebook timeline format, I would encourage you to visit my website and in the search area, type in Facebook timeline and overview or just type in Facebook timeline to learn more about the changes. And incidentally, these changes will be effective March 30th, so you don't have much time. So let's go back to the craft business page and what we're going to do at this point is we're going to prepare to convert it over to the new timeline format. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click preview to get an idea of what it would look like. Now after clicking preview it's going to give us the opportunity to convert. So let's go ahead and click preview. Now what you see in front of you right now is the new Facebook timeline format. Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to add a cover. Now the cover image is one of the new features in Facebook Timeline. Gone are the five little thumbnails that used to appear at the top of every page. You know, the ones that were small representations of whatever picture you just uploaded. Replacing these thumbnails is one huge image called the cover image which will be displayed prominently at the top of every business page. Now we don't see a cover image right now because we have not added it. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to add the cover image. So to add the cover image we click on add a cover and we'll click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the new cover photo that we've created for craft. We'll go to my pictures, we'll click on craft, we'll click on craft ink cover image, and we'll click open, and it is uploading the new cover image. And now we're going to click save changes. And there you have it, we've just uploaded the new cover image, and it looks good. I like the way that looks and that's really all that you really need to do to add the cover image. Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take a quick scan at the rest of the page. Now as I mentioned before if you are not familiar with the new timeline format I would encourage you once again to visit my my website John's PC Hut and search for the Facebook timeline overview or the or a video on how to turn on or how to activate Facebook timeline so we'll let's go back to craft and what we're going to do at this point is we're going to publish our page we like the way it looks and so we're going to click publish now and so it's going to prompt us and it's going to ask us to ask us to confirm we'll click publish and there you have it what we're gonna do right now is we're going to hide the admin section or the admin panel and once again the admin panel is another new feature in Facebook that you're going to need to know about and you're going to need to know how to edit so we'll go ahead and click hide and we're going to edit and what we're gonna do is now it says congratulations your new page is now live we'll go ahead and close that we know that because we can see it and that's uh, the new Facebook uh, timeline page for the Center for Recreation and Family Training. 
looks good and so that is how you activate the Facebook timeline profile for Facebook business pages take care and this has been your tip for the day from John's PC Hut dot com.